Hey everyone, welcome to a New Year's Eve uh, video. So this is another set of tweaks which are pretty awesome and I have to tell you it's been a rough time. I have been testing many 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 tweaks. Many of you suggested some those did not some of those did not work for me, some of those did. So I was trying to really to to get those tweaks working because the jailbreak is not like it used to be so it has to be uh, a lot of updating done by the developers and they have to be motivated to do so so I completely understand why some tweaks are, are left you know behind and not being updated anymore but anyway for today we have 11 tweaks which are perfect for your newly jailbroken iPhones working on uh, iOS 15.1.1 on Xena A15 jailbreak. So let's start in alphabetical order. At the end of the, of the video I'm gonna share with you uh, three very important tweaks which unfortunately are not working so I will be suggesting you guys not to install them because they, they brought my phone to boot loop a few times Hopefully for you they might not, but but I'm just gonna be warning you at the end that uh, that can be the case. So let's start. The first tweak is a free one called Add to Folder. Now this tweak doesn't have too many things to set up. You need to enable it, and you can uh, show item after other ones, etc. And you can change this Add to Folder text. So what does this tweak do? You are probably familiar with it. When you want to change and you want to add uh, to a, a certain to a certain folder you need to hold it right and then you know the icons will wiggle and you need to put them in a certain folder sometimes it can be really pain because you know you might miss it it might go to another folder etc but this tweak actually gives you the option that you can have this thingy add to folder so you click on it and then you have all your available folders now on your home screen and you can add to them and you can additionally create a new folder so if I want to put it in the jailbreak folder you will see that my Xena A15 app disappeared and appeared in jailbreak folder so this is add to folder perfectly perfectly useful tweak free one the second tweak is also a free one for those who have older devices such as myself, this is iPhone XS, and you can have your lock screen uh, looking similar to how the iOS 16 lock screens look like. So this is thanks to the free tweak called AIM and you will see when I lock my device you will see that this is how it looks like. So I have the time here and I have these these uh, uh, widgets below. I have the battery, I have the sunrise widget, I have the time but the weather widget but it's not working for some reason however the thing I don't like you see there is an overlap between this unlocking uh, uh, image and date which I said so this is kind of that I would like to change currently I cannot additionally thanks to this tweak I can change this swipe up uh, text so instead of swipe up you can see the hello text down there so this tweak has a very straightforward settings you go there you can separately uh, adjust the time you can you can do uh, change the format of the time you can change alignment color font and positions pretty straightforward you can do the same things for date uh, I put lowercase date for example which which I prefer I can have different color I can change the font as well and position same goes for the widget now for the widget this is where you can have something similar to iOS 16 not fully but you know at least it looks like it so you can have uh, um, the widget I put the, the battery widget and the sunrise widget and you can have this high and low widget so th there are three widgets that you can choose from not too many options but still you know it's uh, it's nice to have those and you can have in the other where you can enable the text shadow and this is where you set up your custom swipe up text so this is pretty neat tweak AIM I highly recommend it Next week is also a free one. It's called Atria, and it's on the Cherries repo. You can actually what what it 
what this tweak reminds me of is the old school's uh, spring to my tweak or links to a certain extent not completely what you can do you change the layout of your of your uh, home screen and you can add this text as you can see on the top here so it kind of like squeeze their the icons are squeezed a bit uh, you can remove the uh, names of the apps you can also do the same thing for the for the app library uh, you can remove the dock if you want I've put Put some shadow in the background of my of my icons as you can see and this is all thanks to Atria as I said it's again pretty straightforward settings you can you need you have the button to enable it you can enable the layout enable app library blah 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 you can disable the dock which I don't recommend I don't like that uh, so the icons are scaled within the folders so they're a bit you know smaller you can hide the icon badges hide home screen icon labels uh, all sorts of uh, hide the page dots if you want etc etc I, I enable the drop shadow so it kind of looks like an old school iOS you know a long time ago uh, then you can have the the welcome message so it says uh, the greeting here but you can add whatever you want so the, the greeting will be you know depending on the time of the day it will change so it's kind of straightforward tweak and you know enables you to customize your screen uh, home screen a bit which is which is nice so initially I wanted to prepare a video with only free tweaks but then I saw this one which is paid it's called dynamic peninsula this is from you know one of my old school favorite developers Limneos he has very high high quality tweaks I'm sure you know about them now this is dynamic peninsula so it gives us this option that we can make and create our own dynamic island which is only available on newer devices iPhone 14 14 Pro Max uh, so, uh, so iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max so you can change you can enable a tweak in the settings and you can choose which of the items here you want to be handled with dynamic peninsula so for example I've selected all of them and if you want uh, I don't know uh, where is this volume switches so you can see if I if I turn on the volume you will see that there is a notification bell you know going going there so it's kind of nice I don't like I don't know why is this line here maybe it's a bug you see it's a white line but anyway you get the picture also if you want to turn on the, the timer I can set the timer as you see it goes there so you can you can monitor the timer same like you can on on the newest devices so this is pretty awesome tweak and it basically basically shows you that what Apple did it's not huge revolutionary thing it's actually a minor detail uh, makeup detail for me so you can see you can tap on it and then you know you can invoke your your app that's being handled by the uh, dynamic peninsula tweak so all in all you can you can have this handled music you can screen recording sh can be shown Bluetooth devices uh, battery charging you know then you can you can change the size of it you can you know uh, uh, increase it decrease it etc it's pretty straightforward tweak dynamic peninsula I highly recommend it it's a new tweak and it's only four dollars okay something strange happened one of one of the viewers on my channel asked me if emerald tweak was working and it was I installed it uh, yesterday and I tried it and it's a pretty neat tweak that enables you to to get certain functionalities once you tap and hold or swipe the time button on the top left corner but no, it's not working. So, so I have to say, I've tried it many times. I've rebooted my device. I've re jailbroken it, but uh, nothing help. Not nothing is helping. So, for you guys, this is uh, another tweak for today, which is not working, at least not working for me. So, sorry about that. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna uninstall it. So, we'll jump to the next one. One of the music tweaks that is working on 15.1.1 uh, uh, jailbreak. Uh, Z915 jailbreak is Mitsuha Forever and this is an old school favorite tweak of many people and that I know and it basically gives you a nice animation when you play your music so you can you can uh, do all sorts of, of uh, changes first let me show you how it looks like I'm gonna play a, f a song from, from from my Apple music whatever and you can see there are these sound bars that keep coming up and down as you play the music and it's gonna continue doing that on your home screen and on your uh, lock screen now 
I'm not a big fan of how this one looks like, but anyway, this is what Mitsuha has been done and it, this is how it has been working forever. So this is Mitsuha and you can set all different things in the uh, on the lock screen background. You can change the style, wave bar, lines, whatever. You can choose the colors, you can, you can choose many things. You can choose the position, you can, you know, enable battery saver. Also, you can customize the looks of it and the feel of it on your home screen. Um, you can, you know, Justify, uh, sorry, adjust it to Spotify or to Apple Music. It has separate uh, notification, uh, separate settings, and also you can adjust um, uh, how the lock screen notifications will look like and other things as well. So this is Mitsuha Forever, and I highly recommend this free tweak. Since we're on the subject of playing music, uh, I have another free tweak, very cool one, which was recently released, and it's called Now Playing Icon 16. And you might have noticed when I started playing my music on Apple Music that the icon actually changed so what it does it just takes the album artwork of the currently playing song song and it replaces your music icon it works also on other uh, streaming services I guess I haven't tested it this is only for the um, for Apple Music currently. So this is now playing Icon 16. Another awesome tweak, free one, it's called Pancake and this one has been proven to work on iOS 15.1.1 up to 15.1.1 uh, on the current jailbreak, Xena A15 jailbreak. And uh, what does this do? Actually, you know, when you have to go back through menus, you usually swipe like this, but Pancake actually enables you to, whenever you put your finger on the screen, you can, you can do it. And it even has this haptic feedback enabled, so you can really feel once you, once you do it. So it gives you a nice feel to it, and you can really sense when you actually used this, uh, this tweak. So this is pretty straightforward. You can enable it. Uh, you can have the back gesture on the whole page enabled. So wherever you place your uh, uh, fingers, I can do on the side. You see it's still working. So it's kind of pretty neat and it really adds uh, functionality. You can also disable it in certain apps if you don't want it to work there. It's up to you. I haven't disabled it. And, and that's it. Uh, there is option inject into Springboard. I have no idea what that means, but anyway, not needed for our, all of us noob users. The next free tweak is called Power App. It's a free tweak, and this is the interface of the tweak. Actually, it exists on your home screen as a separate app, and uh, uh, you can do the reboot quickly. You can do the shutdown, soft reboot if you want. Uh, you can respring here very easily. You can move to safe mode if you want. You know, uh, you can refresh cache or just exit the power. So it's pretty straightforward. There are some settings that you can, you know, uh, choose how the app will look like. You will get certain alerts when you do this. So this is also neat so you don't do it by mistake. You can change the app icon. For me, no icons are, are working currently. I have no idea why, probably because of the jailbreak currently. But this is what the Power App does. Just gives you additional, you know, boot and, and respring options uh, in, a different, in a different layout. By now, you have probably noticed the snowflakes coming down, right? So, of course, it's New Year's, you know, it's Christmas holidays and stuff. So it kind of fits the whole the whole uh, holiday season feeling. So this, this is thanks to the tweak called Stella. It's a free tweak and it's a pretty straightforward tweak. Works very nicely. And uh, you have separate uh, settings for the lock screen and the separate settings for the home screen. So you can enable it, you can choose the color of the snowflakes, Snowflakes. You can choose the spawn rate, so so how how many uh, snowflakes are actually coming down. You can choose their speed. You can choose whether to include the wind, so it goes to the left or to the right. You can do the same thing for your for your home screen. Even you can choose the custom image, and you can put something else to fall constantly on your screen. It it depends on your on your. Um, depends on your preference. So you see I can choose all these sorts of things, any photo I can uh, that I have in my camera roll, I can use it for Stella. So this is the main feature that the tweak does, so you have this 
snow coming down and you can also have it on your on your home screen sorry lock screen and last but not least is called swipe selection i also had a question from uh, or suggestion from one of the viewers that this tweak works so actually it does work it's not 100 percent working by the way but actually it works so what does this do it gives you this ability to go through text easily you know so this is something that that apple borrowed from from jailbreak community when they introduced this when you press it and then you can move your cursor actually swipe selection and swipe, sele swipe selection pro and old school tweak actually enabled this long time ago that you can easily you can easily find the place where you made a mistake in typing and then you can you can edit it as i said sometimes it's not working perfectly for me when i press this button you know it it won't change sometimes or when I press the the uh, number button sometimes it doesn't work now it works perfectly but it it used to be a little bit buggy so this is this is what swipe selection actually does and that's and that's it for now now as you can see here I have three tweaks which I've tested and I wanted to make them work but I couldn't so so over 2c3 for whatsapp is the tweak that is like a must-have tweak and I don't know if it if it costed a hundred dollars I would still purchase it because it enables you gives you tons of options for your for your whatsapp uh, but I could not make it work on my whatsapp here so it just puts my whatsapp out of out of it it just you know uh, quits the app uh, uh, all together very quickly the next one is the dodo the dodo tweak which actually changes your your home screen sorry your lock screen so it looks like a, like a windows phone a bit i have to say so also not working for me and the very important tweak uu which actually is a free version of circube for youtube it's not working you know it doesn't work properly for me it just brings me out of the youtube app i cannot do anything i see the menu but it's basically useful useless in my case now let me know if these tweaks work for you or not you know leave a comment below if you can also please suggest if you have any of the tweaks that you tested and you saw them working so please make a comment there I would really appreciate it and you will get a shout out in the next video so that we can explore together and see the list of the functional tweaks that work on Xena A15 jailbreak and that's it for today I wish you guys a happy new year great uh, uh, 2023 and all the success in the world see you in the next video